This week's edition of Hashtag Feisty Friday is a shout out to the millennials, okay? Listen, Gen Z, we hear you on TikTok and social media with your skinny jeans and side parts are no longer cool, says the generation remaking every classic 90s movie and sitcom out there. I mean, make up your mind, but whatever. Uh, I digress because you are right about one thing. Millennials are getting older. But I'm here to tell you that there are still plenty of 30-somethings in the NHL proving that some of us still got it. Case in point, Exhibit A of old dudes throwing it back to their youth and showing everyone they can still do now what they did in their prime. First up, 32-year-old Patty Kane, third in league scoring, tied for third, and leading a team with no business being in the conversation right to a seat at the table with the help of good goaltending and a couple of hot rookies, of course, but you get my point. I mean, get this, Kaner is averaging 1.48 points per game. Yeah, good for the best clip of his career, 1.48. I mean, 88 has already won everything. He could easily coast through what was supposed to be an irrelevant season for the Hawks, and nobody would even bat an eye. But here he is putting up an MVP caliber season. Showtime, to say the very least. To Exhibit B and Joe Pavelski, 20 points in 15 games. At 36, he's the oldest player in the top 15 scorers this season, and only seven players at his age have hit 10 goals faster. And two of them were Gordy Howe and Rocket Richard. But I love this next part oh so much. Let's take a look at deflection goals. Not a surprise to see old man Pavs at the top of the list. He is, after all, known for his net front presence, and he's been dominating this area of the game for the past three years. And uh, I can't help but notice that uh, 36-year-old Eric Stahl is also up there. Not seen here is Patty Hornquist, who is tied for fifth in tips over that same span. He's 34. And finally, we have to talk about the streaking LA Kings, whose nucleus of 30-year-old plus players is willing the team right up the standings. I mean, where to begin? Let's start with 36-year-old Dustin Brown. Guy's got 11 goals, more than any other player in the West Division. Oh, and he's off to his best start in terms of goal scoring since 2004 when he played for the Monarchs. Yeah the AHL squad. Let me say that again. Best start in 15 years. How's that for past his prime? Then there's point per game player, 33-year-old Anshay Kopitar, 21 points in 18 games. Also the best pace of his career at 1.17 points per game. And finally, defenseman Drew Doughty. You already know about the offense. Over the course of the winning streak, he's got seven points and is a plus six to go along with his 15 points on the season. If, if we were playing 82 games, Doughty would be on pace for 68 points, which would be, you guessed it, the best of his career and his first season with 50 plus in three years. What about defense, you ask? <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty dope too. He's played almost 113 minutes at five on five during the six game winning streak. And when Doughty's on the ice, LA is outscoring the opposition six to two and his Corsi four percentage is pushing 60. 60, that's a ridiculous number. The team for crying out loud hasn't trailed, not a once during this winning streak. I don't care what any underlying numbers say. That's impressive. For Drew's part, he told us on NHL Now earlier this week that being forced out of the game because of the pandemic actually made him miss hockey. And it looks like some of his older teammates may have felt the same way. So while we can all agree that yes, the NHL is a young man's league, don't be too quick to put some of these oldies out to pasture just yet. You, you lose a lot of things as you get older, right? Speed, reaction time, energy. But if these players are showing us anything, it's that if there's one thing you don't lose with age, it's passion.